Well, how are you doing? <clears throat> okay, this video is going to be called More Lake Problems, right, for the globe. Okay, I'm going to focus, uh, I'll be focusing on this, right, building. Okay, it's uh, the Marriott, um, the New Orleans Marriott uh, Metari, or Metari, sorry, uh, at Lakeway. <clears throat> um, elevation 123 meters. Um, so that is its top, at the very top of it up here where they have uh, water tanks or whatever the hell else they have up there. Uh, that is the uh, top uh, height of it, 123 meters. Now there is a building in front of it here, there's other building in front of it here. Um, I think maybe another part, I'm not sure, could be the car park. But um, it, that is elevation 12 meters, 10 meters, 12 meters, right? Uh, so that will, what is top, uh, 54 meters is, is its top um, height. So that will, uh, if you're viewing this building here from the lake, that will uh, cause visual occultation. Okay, I'll see if I can show you what I mean. Okay. I don't use Google uh, Earth that much, so excuse me. Uh, I, get, I don't use it that much. Sorry, that's not going to work. So you have to excuse the, the slowness. Okay, just spin it around. Let's hope I'm not making anybody sick. Don't want to do that. Go back. And then. Okay. Go back. Keep it going. Oops. So the whole point, if I can go down forward or whatever, I'm trying to go to some kind of a street view. All right, there we go. Well, that'll do. Actually, <laughs> that's exactly what I want. So as you go back here, so as I go back, sorry, now, as you can see, that you won't see all of that building uh, because the building in front of it, even though it's a lot smaller, it is occulting a certain amount of it. So as you go back at a distance, the whole point is you won't see all of this building here. Okay? You see uh, only uh, only if it depends on where you are, you, you might only see only this much of it. But the point is is that <clears throat> I'll get to you in a minute why I'm focusing on it. Okay, let's do this now. Okay. So here we have Metabunk, right? So Here we have uh, a distance of 12 miles away from that building. Um, this is within the globe model. A viewer height and feet 15 feet, right, at 12 miles away. You will have a geometric hidden of 35.12 feet and a refracted hidden of 27.03 feet. But here we have, down here, Nick West has put in this pure angular size results. This is completely not a nonsense. There is no angle or anything on the globe model. Because he completely contradicts, like Metabunk, Metabunk uh, and uh, Mick West completely contradict themselves down here. Because there is no angular size, it doesn't exist within the maths. Within the official globe ma or mathematics, there is no angular size, there is no perspective. It's all orthographic, right? Here we have, this is it here, right? There we go. That is the official globe mathematics. It's all, there is no angular size accounted for here. You're talking uh, distance uh, point to point, uh, distance over arc, you have sagitta, you have uh, distance on the side, you know, you have radius, all these things. This is all orthographic. This is what the globe is. There is no uh, angular size of anything on the globe arc. Mick West has been adding this in simply because in reality we have angular sizes, we have perspective in reality. But this is globe mathematics. All globe mathematics are orthographic. They are not perspective. They are hijacking of perspective. That's what they are. The, anything to do with angular size or angular anything has nothing to do with this. 
Angular everything is all perspective view. It's not orthographic. You know, sometimes you might people might try and uh, show what it would look like in orthographic maths. Even the Angular size calculators, some I think that a lot of them try and calculate it orthographically, but it you will not get it correct like it should be unless it's in perspective. You can't there is no because there is no angular size change orthographically. Everything stays the same size. So the global belief is orthographic. At all times it's orthographic. There is no um, the maths are not the math belief of maths. There is no perspective view. Um, there is no perspective in general on the globe art. So <clears throat> I don't know what MakeWest is doing with these angular size results up here, as there is nowhere down here where angular size of anything is taken into account. There is no angular size of anything taken into account. Everything is deemed to be its actual size. This is global maths. This up here is MakeWest trying to hijack reality like the rest of the globe model does right but you can't hijack reality because this isn't reality reality is reality so the outcome of all this is this okay <clears throat> new orleans marriott uh, metairie at lakeway elevation 123 meters 403.5 feet distance from center of lake Pont uh, train causeway 12 miles, 19.3121 kilometers, or 63,360 feet. Angular size on a horizontal plane from 12 miles away is 0.36 degrees. Okay, that's 0.36 degrees. Globe models geometric hidden for an observer at 15 feet elevation and 12 miles away is 35.12 feet. Refracted hidden is 27.03 feet. Don't forget the 7 over 6R, which kills their own, their own model. So if we subtract the from the full height of 403.5 feet, the full height of the New Orleans Marriott Metairie at Lakeway, we subtract the, the uh, geometric hidden, right? Then that would be the most amount they could have hidden within their model. Uh, we get, which is 35.12 feet, we get 368.3 feet. So, on a globe earth, there should be 368.38 feet of the Marriott Hotel visible from 12 miles away. But on a horizontal plane, there should only be 0.36 degrees visible, making the horizontal plane observation the only winning observation, as angular size change is not part of the mathematics for the globe model. Why am I showing all this? Not just because, not just to point out where there has to be 368 feet of that hotel visible on the globe right it's because there is an eight mile stretch in the center of the lake poncha train causeway and that eight mile stretch for that eight mile stretch or a good portion of it you can't see land right so if 0.36 something that's 0.36 degrees in the distance with all the heat and everything else you would be lucky to see maybe a bit of it at, at, at halfway across the causeway if you could, right, that is if there wasn't a lot of uh, density of air and uh, water vapor. But I mean, that is in New Orleans, you know, it's, it's Louisiana, isn't it? So that is renowned for having a lot of uh, having a lot of heat and a lot of uh, kind of swampy, swampy type conditions. <clears throat> so I don't know if you would, uh, if you could definitely see the 0.36 degrees. But the point is, <clears throat> there is no way you wouldn't see 368 feet of a hotel. You would definitely see that. The only thing the globe can account for is 35.12 feet, if we ignore that refracted 7 over 6R refraction. So reality shows that 0.36 degrees at 12 miles away, right, would be very difficult to see under those conditions. You may see it. You may not, but the point is, it's only a tiny, tiny little thing, and that is the biggest thing. And when you look back that direction, that hotel is the biggest thing you're going to see. Right? It's, it's the biggest thing you're going to see looking back that direction at 12 miles away. But on the globe model, as it shows here in their globe maps, you would have to see 368 feet. There is no angular size change, there is no anything else. 
you would have to see 368 feet. Never mind what he's doing up here with angle between oil line and the horizon, angle between oil line and the bottom of the target, angular size of hitting the mount. None of that means anything. You have a globe, the sort of graphic. There is no angle or anything. You have to be able to see 368 feet of that hotel. Right? The only part, only 35 feet of that can be blocked. Well, 27 feet, if you're adding 7 over 6 or, which they always do, um, which kills their model. Um, because they can't say, get 60 uh, nautic miles per degree when they add 7 over 6 or. Anyway, that's from one of my other videos. Uh, but still, extremely relevant point. Um, so only 35 feet can be hidden on the globe. Only 35 feet. Look, it says it here. Look, max hidden, right? Without refraction. Right? We'll, we'll, we'll actually go with refraction. Only 27 feet can be hidden. Only 27 feet can be hidden. That's it. Only 27 feet. That's the most that can be hidden um, on the globe model of that hotel. So there has to be 360 Right, or 370 something feet or whatever it is, you know, um, uh, view them. There has to be. You certainly won't view it at 0 0.36 degree angle because they don't exist. Look, they don't exist in globe mathematics. They don't exist in globe mathematics. This is the globe mathematics. There is no angular size change. Everything has only whatever is hidden by the curve of the globe or the graphically. That is it. So, in reality, we, we, you can't see, or you don't see the majority of land f within that, an eight miles uh, space going across the causeway. The causeway is 24 miles. So, the first eight miles, I'm suspecting you will see stuff. The second eight miles will be when you won't see much, right? 12 miles is halfway across. So, 12 miles at 12 miles into the causeway, you're not going to see a whole lot of land. Does it, right? Why won't you? Angular size change, 0 0.36 degrees. That's that 403.5 uh, uh, foot high hotel, the Marriott, uh, Metairie. That, that will be 0 0.36 degrees in reality. But on the globe, it, can, it has to be still 368 feet. And more actually, if you are, if, because it's going to be a 7 over 6 or 370 something. Do you know, it has to be. 270 plus feet sticking up out of the water. It has to be. There, from behind the curve, that, it has to be that. There is no way around that. So, this is another absolute destruction for the globe. When are you going to stop getting destroyed? Never. 